This is a sampling without replacement question. An urn contains 10 discs, uh, f f uh, 6 white and 4 red. Two uh, discs are selected at random without replacement from the urn. C calculate the following probabilities. At least one disc is white and exactly one disc is white. Well, let's consider this. We can sort of set it up as a binary, as a probability tree, uh, first off. But essentially what we're going to get is that we either pick a white one first and then another white one, or a white one and a red one. So what I'm going to do is draw discs here. Uh, oops, let's uh, scratch that. So this is a one possible uh, uh, outcome. Another possible outcome is... There's four possible outcomes essentially, and the first one is white and the second one is red. The first one is white and the second one is white. The first one is red and the second one is white, and the first one is red and the second one is red. So these are the four possible outcomes we can get. And you can sort of demonstrate that by a sort of very simple uh, probability tree. Now let's just look at the probabilities of each. So in the first instance there's 10 discs altogether. There's six white ones, so 6 by 10, and there's uh, nine discs left. So we selected the first disc and now we've got to select the second disc. There are five, four red discs left out of nine. Okay, so the probability of a white one then a red one is 24 over 90. Okay, a white and a white, 6 out of 10. Now, once you've taken out the f uh, first one, there's only 5 left out of 9. So it's 5 out of 9. And the probability of that is 30 divided by 90. Uh, a red, then a white. Well, there's 4 reds to start with. 4 out of 10. Pick what, Take one out. You have 6 uh, wh whites and 3 reds. So probability of picking out a white out of the, out of the 9 remaining uh, discs, 6 out of 9. That's also 24 out of 90. Two reds. Well, in the first instance, you have 4 out of 10. Take one out. What's the probability of selecting another one? 3 out of 9. And that is 12 out of 90. Okay. Those are the four possible outcomes. So that this is the uh, gives us very good coverage of what we need. Now, the first question is, uh, what well, at least one disc is white? Well, if you look at it there, you can see pretty clearly the probability of at least one disc is white is scenario 1, scenario 2, plus scenario 3. So it's 24... Oops, let's start that again. 24 plus 30 plus 20, 24 over 90, and that gives us a probability of... 78 out of 90. I'll just leave it as 78 out of 90. It's just a bit of simple calculator work now to, to put express that as a decimal. Exactly one disk is chosen. Well, there's two scenarios here. This scenario and this scenario. So the disjoint events, what's the combined probability? It's 24 plus 24 over 90. And that's equal to 48 over 90. Again, we can leave that as a, a fraction. You can simplify them down much simpler, but it's, 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 that's just minor calculator work now. Right. Uh, okay, we'll leave that there. That's sampling with replacement and without replacement even.